This video is a demonstration of Phenology Assistant. It won't be a step-by-step how-to guide, but I hope it will demonstrate the utility of this program for doing phenological analysis, especially for the analysis of uh, phonemic segments. Uh, the program uh, requires you to have a data set of uh, transcribed words that is a gloss and preferably with three part of speech as well. It's designed to work with Flex, but if you're in the beginning of a new project, you may not have set up a Flex database yet. And so you can also uh, import your data using a standard uh, SFM format, uh, where you just have a slash mark, this one for English gloss, for an Indonesian gloss, and for the data, which in this case is from Kodi. Uh, and you can import that directly. If you don't want to set uh, up a SFM manually, there's uh, another program called Sheet, Sheet Swiper, which will very quickly allow you to go from a spreadsheet, if you have a spreadsheet format, into the SFM format. Uh, once you have your data imported, one of the first things you notice is that Phonology Assistant creates a chart for you of all of the uh, segments that show up in your transcriptions, consonant chart, and a vowel chart. See, in this case, the vowel chart has treated some of the diacritics here um, as marking different uh, phonological segments, where in this particular data set, they're actually marking tone, which is I'm treating autosegmentally. So I can just ignore those diacritics uh, using this feature here. And ignore the macron, acute accent, and clear accent. Getting rid of some of those diacritics. We see there's a few other diacritics that I've used here. I use uh, this circumflex uh, one time. Um, and so I could also ignore that and do whatever else I need to do to uh, simplify my uh, file chart. Looking at the consonant chart, you can see that the program has treated anywhere that I've uh, transcribed a long consonant as a separate uh, phoneme. If I want to instead treat that as a sequence of two phonemes, I can change that in uh, transcription changes. Here I've already entered in uh, the changes that I want to see happen. I want this a long P to change to two Ps, likewise for each of these consonants. If I insert those changes, we'll get a simplified consonant chart. This also changes the way the syllable structure is analyzed by the program. So now we see our uh, plosive consonants in this chart have simplified, though I haven't yet simplified changing the nasal transcriptions. Another thing you can uh, ask the program to do interpreting your data is to tell it how to interpret ambiguous sequences. So let's say, uh, for example, you have a series of nasals and stops that you want to consider a single character. So you can uh, simply tell it to interpret the sequence ND as if it was just a D with another feature. And phonology assistant will uh, go through your data and make that change where necessary without actually changing your database, but showing you what it would look like with that change. Okay, so now we have this phone ND now occurring uh, 26 times in uh, this data. And the uh, search function is uh, one of the most useful parts of this program. Um, so you can do basic searches like search for uh, anywhere that the uh, search for a particular sound like P, you can choose an environment, say you want to know when it occurs word initially, you have P in the word initial environment, or show you everywhere that that occurs. You can then also search for more than one sound like P or B in a word initial environment. I will show you all of those. We'll even allow you to uh, sort by grouping in, into different uh, categories, Ps and Bs. And another useful thing you can do here is use the minimal pair feature. And it will give you examples where these sounds P and B occur in uh, minimal pairs. And if you don't get enough uh, minimal pairs, you can use the similar environments feature which will uh, pick out environments where these two sounds occur that are very similar to each other. All right, this is the distribution chart where we can describe an environment 
and then look for uh, how often certain sounds or phonological features occur in those environments. So to give a simple example, uh, we can look at a word initial environment, and we can look at a word final environment. And say, look at each of the vowel sounds. When we fill the chart, uh, we can see uh, which vowel sounds, uh, the vowel sounds are long, less likely to occur word initially, which ones occur most often word initially, and uh, which ones occur most often word finally. It's more complex examples, including some of these preset examples here, which look at uh, word initial and word final environments with a whole series of uh, complex sets of uh, features that you might look for in those environments. If you wanted to see uh, what are the cases, for example, where only six plosives occur in a word final environment? You can just double click on that cell and it will show you those uh, six examples, uh, which all happen to be uh, loanwords, which explains why uh, it's so rare for uh, the plosives to occur in the word final uh, position. A few other uh, useful uh, features here include the ability to sort by. Uh, so CV pattern uh, in your corpus, as you group it that way and condense, then you can look through and look at very specific examples of uh, what kinds of words occur with what kinds of uh, syllable structures in your data. And you can also see by the number of records, which kinds of syllable structures are most common and which ones are very infrequent. Finally, another really useful feature is to be able to uh, filter my part of speech. Um, so for example, if I only wanted to look at the phonology of nouns, I can select a feature where the field part of speech in my data has to match the value noun. If I apply that filter. Then I now see the Noun filter here at the bottom uh, right corner of the screen. And the data I'm looking at is only data about nouns. I'm no longer looking at uh, verbs or any other parts of speech that were in my data set. So those are some of the useful ways that you can use Phonology Assistant to search through and sort and filter your data set while you're working on a phonological analysis, particularly looking at uh, phonological segments and syllable structures.